Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to show you how I use liquid fusion adhesive to adhere my rhinestones to my Dollar Tree glass. And this is one of those black tinted glasses, stimulus wine glasses that I use. So I first tape off the glass. Then I use alcohol to clean the glass, and here I am, my podge in it. So I'm just doing a coat all the way around the glass. So I'm not able to do it all in one shot. So every time I basically put the brush back in, I start from the beginning where I first started just to keep the Mod Podge wet until I'm ready to glitter. And I also make sure I have a even coat, no streaks left or anything like that. And I also do a coat off camera. And I pull the tape off on camera, just so you'll see, it'll be like a five minute time difference from here where I put the glue on at. I'm sorry, the glitter on. And then I wait. You should be able to tell by either looking at the Mod Podge or touching the Mod Podge around the tape area if you're ready to pull your tape off or not. More than likely, the safest bet is to soon as you finish doing your Mod Podge, if you're not sure, is just take it off right then and there. You can wait till the Mod Podge dry if you wanted to do another coat. And if you wanted to retape it, but most of the time I'll take it off right there and I'll just, if I do my second coat, I'll my podge it from that because it's right now we're dealing with a straight line. So how easy is that? So, and again, I don't know if I said it, my second coat of my podge and glitter was done off camera. So just basically showing you how I covered everything as far as glitter wise. And then after I do my second coat, I do a couple of bursts of spray of holding spray from the Dollar Tree to like keep my glitter in place so it won't fall all off the glass. And then my final coat I do after I apply my rhinestones. And I do that with Mod Podge a dishwasher safe blue label so that's how I actually do my sealing of my glass with the glitter and I believe I use 5 mm crystal 8b rhinestones I do two rows of that I am using the honeycomb method as you'll see is just basically intersecting the rhinestones to you know make it look nice and neat as if there's no spaces or if they were like that as you can say so yeah this is my first coat and you'll see me take the tape off and I do use liquid fusion I definitely need to see how liquid fusion works and how it holds up over the test of time. So this will be my very first glass I'm doing with the liquid fusion adhesive. So as you can see right here, I'm pulling the tape off, but from the last shot, you could just tell, like I just basically cleaned the area up and then I basically pulled the tape off. So it, it took a couple of minutes. It took no more than five minutes for me to clean that area up. As you can see, I still have glitter on the table. So, and as you can see, it's still a thin coat right here. And I pulled the tape off. And my second coat, I did not use any tape, being that it's just a straight line. And I just put another quick coat on it off camera and did the glitter again. And actually I put the fan on it to speed things up. So there's the second coat right there. And at this point, I'm just gonna to proceed to put my gems 
on the glass at this point. And working with the liquid fusion as you see. And it was just a point of me just trying to handle that glue and the way it spreads when it comes out. And so it basically, I have to take my time on the first couple of applications of the gems due to the fact of the way the liquid fusion flows out after the fact. So, yeah, it, it's a little bit more fluid than E6000, definitely. So, um, I basically had to work on trying to handle the flow of the glue after it was on the glass. So, yeah. Um, but it took some getting used to, and I ended up getting used to it and the flow of it and everything. So, um more than likely, I'll probably use it again, but I just want to see what this glass does because every time I do um, anything as far as gems, I do take it through somewhat of a stress test. So I'm going to give this glass maybe maybe a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so, and then probably doing like a review on how the liquid fusion held up, especially under the stress of, of water. So that, that'll be one of my stress tests right there alone. So one thing about this glue that's pretty good, that I do like, that um, you have a lot of time to go back and reposition your stones if you might find one crooked or or maybe you might want to re just reposition it. You have uh, more time than you would have if you were to use E6000. You already know how long it takes. If you're familiar with E6000, you know E6000, if you're trying to go back maybe even 20 minutes later, that that it's not going to budge but with this you you still have like that time to readjust if you want i'm i'm guessing a 20 minute time span i'm um i will actually have to actually sit down and put a time clock to it but i'm just guessing maybe 15 minutes to 20 minutes to reposition a stone there's the money shot Thanks, guys, for watching my video. Please like and subscribe. And I do have another video if you're interested. Thanks.